Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you all? Hope you'll be doing well. I'm Khizr Bakhtiar, your admin, and today I'll be uh, guiding you about the portfolio management. This is the video two. The first one was for <coughs> uh, low fund holders, uh, and this one is for average or high fund holders uh, that how to manage their portfolio. So let's get straight into the video. Portfolio management two. So this is the portfolio management video number two. This is for massive or average fund holders. Fine. I've made a sketch for you. You can increase or decrease the percentage by uh, your choice, but it's a general sketch for you. You will get idea from it that how the uh, portfolio management should be fine. So <clears throat> you should divide your portfolio into four uh, parts. Fine. You can if you are not trading in futures so you can uh, divide it into three but if you are trading in futures so you, you can divide it to, into four it's up to you so for example if you have funds like uh, 10,000 or 20 or 30 or 80 or um, 100,000 dollars so you will be in the category of massive or average fund holders fine below that uh, you will be uh, considered as low uh, fund holder so if you have funds more than 10 or 20 thousand dollars how will you manage it you have to divide it into four parts okay number one spot wallet so you must keep 40% um, of your fund in spot coins spot wallet like uh, I'm buying and uh, uh, key keeping your the the coins uh, for mid long or and uh, short term so your 40 percent of total portfolio should be in the spot fine number two is future wallets so in the future wallets you should keep um, 30 percent out of a uh, hundred percent uh, in the future wallet fine and number three is vacant or uh, spare usdt so you should always keep 30 uh, 20 to 15 percent a USDT spare or vacant for uh, dumps or uh, like uh, to save your position in the uh, future uh, for any ka ka like kind of crashes appear sudden so you will be able to save your position in the future or you'll be able to buy the dips in a spot by these uh, spare USDT fine and number four alt coins on decentralized exchange or uh, newly listing coins so you can keep uh, 10 to 15 percent of your portfolio for uh, this purpose and it is also optional if you don't like to play in uh, uh, to buy coins from a decentralized exchange like DeFi or NFTs and if you are not uh, interested in buying coin buying coins like uh, which are newly listing on uh, exchanges they are profitable <clears throat> but they need some such strategies so if you are not interested it's optional you can skip this fine so these are the four categories that uh, you should divide your uh, funds into and uh, you should manage your portfolio <coughs> by this uh, by dividing all you, all of your funds into these four categories fine let me discuss all of them uh, one by one number one is a uh, sport wallet <laughs> So you should uh, um, manage and divide the sport wallet into mid, short and long term portfolio. You should uh, buy some coins for mid term, buy some coins for short term and buy some coins for long term and forget about them. Fine. Short term coins are those that you buy for uh, a week or for a month or for uh, two weeks or for four, four weeks or for two months. This is uh, in the short term uh, holdings. If you buy a coin for more than uh, one or two months, like for five months or six months, then it comes into the category of uh, mid term. Fine. And if you buy a coin for more than a year, like for example, for one year or two year or five year or ten year, then it comes into the category of long term holding coins. Fine. So uh, short term coins are uh, for the reason that you keep on booking profit from these coins. 
mid term coins are uh, those that you book your profits after so, some months like uh, two months or three months when they this coin give you 2x or 3x you book some profit from these coins and uh, long term coins are those that you never book your profit for very long time you just forget about them fine so 70% of your spot for um, fund should be uh, divided into these uh, short mid and long term portfolio fine moreover you can stake this coin if you are holding it for long so for example if you have buy uh, if you have bought bnb and you are um, holding it for one year or two year and you want to hold it so why not you stake it uh, in uh, some other coins you stake it for some other coins and you will be gifted or rewarded or uh, will be um, able to farm other coins by staking the BNB so this is also optional it is up to you that if you want to stake or not but uh, this is uh, also a way to make profit from your long-term uh, holding coins fine number two 30% of, of your spot wallet like uh, uh, for example if you have $10,000 fine $10,000 you have kept $4,000 in the spot wallet see 40% in the spot wallet from this uh, for $4,000 you keep 70% for uh, holding coins like mid long and uh, short term holding coins and 30% for tra trading intra-trade swing trades and all that it is also optional but if you have some free time and if you want to uh, um, make profit each day or each week like short profit and all that if you are want to scalp in uh, spot so this is also uh, a way to make profit from spot so you can um, keep 30 percent of your uh, spot wallet portfolio uh, for trading purpose intra trade or uh, like uh, swing trades fine number two is future trade uh, future wallet so the future wallet should be 30 percent so for example if you have a uh, ten thousand dollars fund keep three thousand dollars for future trades fine three thousand dollars in your future wallet it is optional uh, yeah like uh, you can increase or decrease uh, the percentage by your choice but it is like a general sketch for you so from the three thousand dollars you play only five to ten percent of your uh, three thousand dollars fund only five to ten percent not more than that why because you save your positions by lowering the um, liquidation price and playing with low leverage if you are a newbie so it is recommended to open only one position or two not more than that playing with very less leverage and keeping margin very high so you, your liquidation is a prox zero or zero fine so in this way you will be able to uh, not make any loss and you will always be in profit not making loss is also a form of profit fine so play with five to ten percent of your future wallet, uh, future wallets fund, and keep the rest in margin for lowering your liquidation. Number B, uh, one to three trades, not more than that. For example, if you have a uh, funds five thousand or ten thousand in the futures wallet, so you can open uh, more than one position. But if you are not a, a newbie, if you are new into futures trading you should always open one position not more than that and if you are not new you can handle um, more than one trade so you can uh, go for two or three trades at a time but for that you must have at least uh, more funds in the future wall so you can any anytime save your positions number three seven to twenty uh, seven to eight x if you're a newbie only open seven to 8x uh, it is recommended if you have more funds you can go up to 10x also but if you are not a newbie if you are uh, professional enough in futures trade and you know everything how to handle the market and how to manage your risk and how to uh, play in future safe 
then you can go for 10x or 12x or 13x more more than that even but if you are not uh, so experienced mm -hmm. in futures trading then it is not recommended uh, to you to play more than uh, 8x or 10x fine number three vacant usdt so always keep spare usdt in your wallet why two reasons number one use these are used in dumps or correction to collect tips of your favorite coins for example if you have a love with uh, ada and you missed it tips sometimes the market uh, goes on correction and the ada came into very deep it got very deep it got dumped and you will get the chance to buy tips but only you will be able to buy dips if you have spare usdt so spare usdt and vacant usdt is very necessary to keep in your fund or in your wallet number two why to keep your um, usdt 20 percent or 15 percent spare it is because sometimes you have opened more than one position and your liquidation price is uh, a bit higher and the market starts crashing and uh, there there is chance chances for you to be liquidated or your sl if you have not uh, put any uh, stop loss for the trade and you suddenly see that oh your uh, position is about to liquidate so what you do is you put uh, some margin into your futures trade into that positions and save your trades from being liquidated so this is why we recommend from our members to keep some usdt spare okay so number four alts there are two things to keep in mind about altcoins like nfts and uh, DeFi's. number one buying DeFi's and nfts on decentralized exchanges or centralized exchanges which are which are not so pumped for example say, uh, a coin called so-called safe moon i'm giving you just examples so-called uh, safe moon and jeld and uh, uh vera and vanilla these coins these are not uh, so pumped and uh, even not uh, launched on too many exchanges so there are chances that uh, if the coin is a very good project and if it's uh, it has probability to be launched on some exchanges so once the coin uh, gets launched in any exchanges uh, there are chances of its pump so we buy those coins which have the potential to grow which have the potential to give us 2x to 100x we research about them we like uh, do all analysis and look at their team and the, the market cap and all that so if the project is good if <clears throat> it has uh, the potential to grow then we buy those coins on and decentralized exchanges and centralized exchanges uh, on which they are available but this is only recommend to those who have extra funds in their account so that's why i have given it in the category number four to those who have holding more than 10 to twenty thousand dollars as they will have at least 200 or 300 dollars uh, or three thousand uh, dollars 200 or two thousand to three thousand dollars for such purposes and they they also always make very good profit from these altcoins like nfts and DeFi's. Number two, uh, new listing coins. For example, a coin uh, is about to launch on Binance or Coinbase and you have like uh, uh, came to know about that coin very before. You got the news very early. So what you do, you buy that coin on some other exchanges uh, where it is available and you keep it uh, for before the launching. You keep it till that time and you sell it before e the time it is uh, launching on that exchange particular exchange and you make profit in such a way so this was uh, the portfolio management video number two